Vice President of Fox International Channels Italy, the entertainment part of it, uh, which consists of uh, four channels, which is uh, Fox, Fox Crime, Fox Life and Fox Retro. Two main platforms, uh, one is Sky, and the other one is uh, Mediaset Premium. Uh, Sky is, has a penetration in Italy of about 5 million, uh, and uh, premium is lower than this. And basically we, we, we are the counterpart of, uh, of a big generalistic uh, television in Italy, uh, which uh, the scenario of, uh, let's say, free TV in Italy is really changing very, very fast at the moment. Because uh, till a few years ago, really few years ago, we had uh, basically six uh, channels, uh, the free Rai channels and the free Mediaset channels, and now we are up to more than 200 channels because the free digital television is really booming in Italy at the moment. The struggle with Sky and our channels is to make people understand that it's not the same. Uh, that what they get from us, it's quite different from what they get from free television in terms of uh, content, in terms of technology, in terms of everything, basically. The industry was used to have no, uh, no big challenges. It was a very crystallized situation, in a way, uh, because it was, uh, let's say, a war between Mediaset and Rai with a big journalistic uh, channel. Uh, now everything is changing. The, those channels are losing ratings uh, slowly, slowly, but uh, constantly. And uh, the new channels are, you know, getting... Uh, they were considered in the past like, uh, you know, little things uh, we shouldn't be worried about. Now they, the situation is changing because all those little things together are, are you know, getting a lot of ratings. And, uh, and so everybody's reacting to this new proliferation of, of channels. Beheading him seemed the next logical step. We are reacting basically uh, in uh, trying to be as, uh, as exclusive as we can. Uh, we try to have exclusive shows that uh, nobody else can see unless it's you know, a subscriber of Sky. And uh, by having everything and before everybody else, in a way that nobody can have, which, which means HD, which means Sky Go, uh, which means on demand. So it's trying to have more exclusive before everybody else in a very different way. We did a couple of uh, scripted series in the past. Uh, very successfully. One was The Monster of Florence, which was a mini let's say, drama crime miniseries. And we did a very nice experiment with Boris, uh, which lasted three seasons, and it was a very innovative uh, kind of sitcom or comedy for the Italian market. He brought in Italy uh, a, a way of doing comedy which was really unusual and completely out of the box. <laughs> Now we are really focusing on factual entertainment, which is uh, another big trend in Italy. And so we are investing more and more money of one, on one of our channels, which is Fox Life, which is a female skewing channel. And we are producing more and more originals for that channel. It's between 25 and 45 years old women uh, of, let's say, higher class and culture, which is basically our target and the more interest in, in uh, advertising terms. Uh, we are doing two kinds of shows, basically the, let's say, uh, big shiny floor shows like, uh, you know, for weddings or project runaway, or um, smallest things that uh, sometimes we got funded by advertisers. And so we are moving on these two levels. Uh, our uh, intent is not to replicate what other channels are doing in Italy, uh, like uh, Real Discovery Real Time, for example, they are specifically how-to channels. Uh, channels you watch to learn something, uh, while we are more um, uh, focusing on the aspirational side. To a magical destination. I'm just ready to go out there 
and get married. We are both investing in original ideas, in new formats or international formats. So for this year we are doing the second series of Kitchen Nightmares that we launched this year with uh, fantastic ratings. It's the best uh, rating ever show on Fox Live as an original Italian production. At the same time we are trying to get authors or little independent companies to bring us uh, original ideas uh, that we can produce and distribute all over the Fox International Channels network in Europe. The car came from El Paso. It's ours. Look, I don't need you, buddy. Why tell me that? We got our own dead. At a very local level, we are doing, let's say, the um, acquisition the old ways. Uh, old ways, so we, we, we go to the LA screenings, we screen everything we can in one week and then we decided what to buy, uh, also based on uh, big deals that we are already have in place or that we want to put in place. Uh, at uh, an international level, we are working in a different way, uh, much in advance. Uh, so we are not waiting for the pilot or for the series, and we're working with a production company, uh, try to get involved at the very early stages uh, of production. Uh, so it's very, let's say, advanced acquisition. Uh, and it's multi-territory acquisition, sometimes it's international acquisition. Uh, a few examples that everybody knows are um, The Walking Dead, uh, for example, uh, American Horror Story, this kind of thing. So we, we buy for all the Fox International channels in the world and sometimes we uh, coordinate to have global launches. And this is going to happen in a few weeks with The Bridge, the US version of The Bridge which is, uh, is going to be our next big global launch. So uh, all the channels, of, uh, all the Fox channels in the world are launching the same show in the same period. We have uh, access to the Sony uh, shows and to the 20th Century Fox, uh, 20th Century Fox shows. And uh, we have a strict collaboration with Disney as well. So just to mention one, I would say uh, the Blacklist, uh, which comes from Sony, uh, which we are going to premiere on Fox Crime in uh, fall. Good afternoon. I'm here to see Assistant Director Harold Cooper. Tell him it's Raymond Reddington. <laughs> Due to the economic situation, uh, they are far away. Uh, so there's no Amazon, no Netflix, and uh, as far as I know, there's no plan for the next future to come to Italy, and I com can completely understand the, the point. Uh, there's no really, everybody is struggling, the advertising market is going down, so it's, uh, it will be, uh, uh, from a financial point of view, it will be very risky to launch in Italy in this very moment. S but uh, we are as... As I told you before, uh, we are really working on being as much exclusive as we can. And so maybe in the future we will ex extend the exclusivity of our content, of our content uh, also uh, versus the new uh, on-demand services. We are launching uh, a new channel in, in Italy in uh, August. It will be Fox Sports. Uh, it's, uh, it's a big news for us because uh, sports in Italy is, was uh, like uh, owned by the big journalistic channel or the Sky or Sky Plus or Sky, the Sky channels themselves and so now we are launching uh, uh, something completely different for us which is uh, the a sport channel in Italy. Already some, bought some rights, uh, it's not the Italian league, uh, but a very interesting foreign league. Uh, the buzz in Italy that this launch is generating makes me think that it will be a very successful channel. Premier League, Ligan, FA Cup, Liga. Many few shows coming uh, in, uh, in the next season. Uh, we have Sleepy Hollow uh, coming, but the Witches of East End is coming as well. So it's, uh, it's a few bunch of show from the LA screen. It's basically the, the best production of, uh, e yearly production of, uh, of US is coming to the Fox channels every year. So we will have all the new shows coming to Italy uh, through Fox.